Hello everybody and welcome to another episode here on the Pulse Night Patreon server. So as you guys know, the Patreon server of season 4 has ended. And we're about to hit season 5. It's going live in the next week for in my time. And you guys should be watching a lot of upcoming videos at when it comes because I'll be streaming a bunch and be doing maybe some YouTube stuff and I don't know I need to figure out what I'm gonna do but today it's not about season 5 it's about what I've done here on season 4 so season 4 has has been my building year and the entrance to my base is this beautiful a uh, really quick made uh, angel statue. This is my depiction of uh, the angel Suflas. So Suflas uh, was the theme of my tour. Um, the angel represents the the god of nature and trees and life in that essence. And basically, Suflas is holding the the door into reality so let's get through on the other side we enter Sufla's land so what I have done here is this is the plains biomes and I made these sandy walls which will make sense in a little bit and you can see there's walls around making this really immersive area and having this very background drop and all these small like dips and colors gives this very interesting palette. The trees, uh, you guys saw them in one of my last videos or you can go back check how I made them. It's actually pretty simple, it's just like building uh, the trees up <laughs> and getting a lot of leaves. So. As the immersion comes through and the beginning of Land of Suflas, you see the city emerge. And my starter home. So I've been actually... Um, I've actually been carrying something very specific, specifically for this season. Uh, if you guys remember anything from my last season, <laughs> I died quite the few making my island and stuff like that but I am now standing with 21,201 minutes played so we get a point every minute we play on here and this has curse of vanishing curse of binding curse of binding curse of binding and curse of binding and as well my weapon has curse of vanishing and Curse of Vanishing. My my tools don't have. Um, I also got an enchanted Google app, which carrying the themes of the angel is the forbidden fruit. And I got my banner. Um, but yeah, uh, one of the, if we go into statistics, let's see. Number of deaths, zero. I have zero deaths here in the server. It, that's just amazing. Like there have been so many close calls. But yeah, <laughs> so we have this little up going little hill um, because you can basically take two ways. You can go up here and go around or you can go um, like through this path where Gru, who's actually here on the server Gru, um, actually have uh, have placed these little, let's see if we can, let's see if we can uh, get the little name. Come here. It's Pufferfish. So, ow, ow. <laughs> But yeah, this was a little pond, this, and I know, guys, it was the, the season of building, I know, not terraforming, and this is terraforming, I know, but I had to come up with kind of like the layout, and I wanted to do stuff, because if you watched the World's Natural video, I did a lot of building in my first, like, three months of playing, so I came back over here, and I created this lovely little landscape, and uh, this immersive feeling where nature has just popped up, and, like, you just... Um, just like going around into the little ponds and I, I, I actually made this um, all of the greenery that you see on this side 
I made this that in two days. <laughs> so it was really quick. Um, and here we see the weeping souffles. This is going to represent the lower income area and the higher income and the mid income area, which is located over here. So the citizens of Suflas, the land of Suflas, uh, has don't want to touch all the greenery because Suflas, the angel of trees, is weeping because something is wrong, and they don't want to take advantage of all the of all the the environment and and all of that. So, as you can see, the the higher population don't really want to to be near this so they have this giant wall and like the two layered city also so the higher taxpayers and the mid taxpayers will be separated but we will take a look at that later but we go into the lower tax area which has these cargo wagons and a lot of these tents and this working area and down here we have this worker oh everybody's just like going on right now um this is like the day the day before like the server actually like closes so that's why so this is where like the lower taxpayers are living and thriving and working their way and i used one of wells knight 15 minutes crafts over here um he didn't i don't think he noticed it but i think he did and then one of the the higher income payers with this if you keep this building um in mind that's actually gonna be the theme over there but if we go down here i'll be We'll be going through this a little bit. A lot of like textured here, but I was so lucky uh, as I saw in one of my earlier videos, <laughs> like for eight months ago, I, I found an end portal right next to where I located. I didn't even plan on it. So that was that was pretty neat. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty nice. Um, so if we go up, um, so this, this people, these, uh, okay, that doesn't want to work right now. I don't know why. Um, but these people believe that Suflas um, has the essence of life through Earth, and I just broke some grass. And of course, this is my build, so it's not spawn proof. <laughs> um, so yeah, they they believe that Suflas gives them the strength through the materials of Earth, and that Suflas has given them the the love and care by going through the Earth and giving the materials by there. So up here we just have some residential areas. Um, they're they're mostly not finished interiors and stuff like that. It's very much just shell buildings. Um, that's something that I've learned that I need to to learn how to do. And if we go back, we we have the market area. I totally missed like saying that, but we have like a market area here with like the lower guys, you know. They are trading very heavily in crafting tables, you know, the best material in the world. And they have their own cows and like they are they're thriving on their own, but still like are heavily influenced by the higher standing. And here again we see the, the beautiful like my area <laughs> where I don't lit up stuff. But since we're in 1.13, the the fires they are not a thing, so I made a little fire tent with the with the helmet sticking with the statues. Um it's pretty neat, I like it. It's a very little detail. And some more trading and just ferals and this is where they, they get the the colored and the dyed wool and stuff like that for the tents. Red is apparently in this year, so <laughs> that was the thing. And and that's it for for this area. So they, they like um, thriving off the earth and believing that Sufles has given them uh, like they believe in nature and believe in kind of like the the nature side of Suflas. And but life has like two meanings, um, both living and death and knowledge and <clears throat> and stuff like that. And evil, who is a player on the server, made that statue. I totally forgot to mention that, but he made that statue. But this side over here, um, this is where the mid-range this is where we merge they have depicted Suflas as a living breathing human 
and the earthly form of Suflas. Um, this is the time lapse that you guys saw. Um, that's my latest video. Um, and yeah, here did this is what happened afterwards. Um, another trading with like tents and a, a tavern over here and a bell tower and a, and a wall and like a watchtower for the town folks if somebody sh should come. And again. I didn't really know what to do with the interior, so I blacked them out and made these back alleys with the the very wealthy crafting tables and a church and just small things. And they have their own like, little oasis here in the back. Um, it's it's very nice having just using the the sand and the slabs. You can get a lot of detail work into the area. It's a uh, it was really it was a really nice thing to do and here we have like just the observatory and stuff like that this is the, the over the city I actually think I need to do this yeah there we go I, I added something right here as you could see and that's where we're going now so we're standing here in the back alley of the statue of Suflas we're merging into the higher taxation area of the well, wealthy players here on the server. A wealthy area of this of this area, so not on the server. And I didn't have much time. This, like I said, I only played like the twenty one thousand minutes. Um, and this is where the idea came from. So they have a wall keeping them all intact. And this is where all the wealthy. You can see it's more much more aristocrat and like wealthy array. Arabic, there we go, Arabic, kind of living style. And I really like that the small little details that I managed to get in and all the little colors. I'm like pleased with the buildings and I'm happy that I made it. Um, but I, of course, I could have done so much more. And this, you know, this for me, this doesn't take very much brain effort or like time to do. But planning all of this, this took forever to do. And I don't actually have a bed, <laughs> so um, good thing that um, this is not lit up, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, we have these two giant gates, and I'm I'm loving that they are like also working as a separation um, between the classes because these uh, these folks who live here believe that Tuflas has given them the knowledge. They believe that life is about knowledge and how to use the knowledge. And they also have their little own uh, kind of like oasis spring. No trees and stuff. Uh, which is why, because they have used all of the trees uh, and like not have been, you know, so much in touch with nature. So they just have this blank ocean where the other has like more better um, oasis. Um, these were more drive towards um, just knowing everything about everything and this this took a little bit of time as you can see like there's oh, a lot of little small dents and holes and stuff like that and I really like this janky design on it and this uh, this very uh, neat wall over here it's um, and and this design this like walkway it actually turned out really really amazing with like the slope but yet these guys are the followers of Suflas and they believe that knowledge is key. So um, this is also the backside. So all of the amazing buildings that I did, I didn't I didn't get time to do this part of my base. Um, but as we come, I can fly apparently right now, so it doesn't matter. But just take a look. At the at the library of Suflas. Um the library has been my massive project this season, uh, and I've loved every single bit of it, down to the small details and to the hate and to the annoyance of doing all of this. And it's a lot of like I, s I started to do the wall design. You can see like I have this small, 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 small little bit. Of wall here, um, 
But yeah, this is the, the library and I love it, it, just the size and but I wanted to do a lot more. And before we go in, um, I just want to, to thank you guys if, if you're still here and like keeping it up and thank you guys for the support on the last video as well. Like that video bloomed so much. I thank you so much. And all, all the new play, uh, guys and girls here on the, the channel, thank you for subscribing. And um, and I hope you will like, stay <laughs> a little bit, catch me in some of my streams and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, most importantly, it has crafting tables. And kind of like here in the World Science Server, crafting tables is kind of like my thing. That's my scaffolding block and everything. Um, but this is the library. I'm just gonna take a screen. This is actually so good. So this is the library and. And I'm absolutely in love with it. This was a massive project and oh my god, let's just Let's just see if we can find it item crafted use picked up There we go That's crafting tables. Let's see crafted maybe let's See if we can find it there we go and then it's, I believe it's this one. Yeah, times used. Um, so around 2,400 bookshelves. Um, probably 600 is not in this library. It's in the other library. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a lot of bookshelves, and and I just love it. I just love the little. So if you if you if you look up, you can see like there's just this this random kind of like light. If we zoom in, is it's just glowstone, and you can't really tell that it's glowstone because um, on the sides I have used the uh, fog effect where I have three different layers. We have light gray, I think no magenta, red, and then black. So you can't really tell that that's that is there, and I can't really go about without mentioning all the people who like support me and help me. Like with this project came, came over here and gave me support and like materials like Mar. She like was such a massive like inspiration for me with with her belt. You should definitely check her out. And like Lost in Transit with a lot of his um, like um, items that he gave to my to my base and and Blue Owl for a lot of charcoal and stuff like that. And Letha Prime for just being amazing and Prime. I miss you. We should definitely hang out. We, Prime, I did the, the the first three months of the server with. We just built the library um, in the spawn town. It was such amazing, but I'll not be showing that off since it was a community project. But you should definitely go check it out. And grew for just being a massive like. He he just have so many materials. I don't know how he gets it, but he 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 helped a lot with a lot, and especially all the wood. Grew. Guru, listen here. Thank you so much for all of the wood that you have that I have bought of you. <laughs> but yeah, so this wasn't actually shown off in the Wilson Knight server tour because he forgot to go over here. So this has a little like up branch with this little library up here. This was the last thing that I added before the server like the server tour happened the day before. Um, and sadly, I couldn't be there because I had to be somewhere else. But yeah, I definitely like like it. There's a lot of like good scre screenshot moments over here. Oh, I think I found a place where there's some something can spawn. But yeah, just adding some fillers and adding this amazing music note, and it was a really really nice thing. And if you're wondering how I did the lighting, can you see? Right here is a trapdoor. I just have a torch or, or glowstone or something underneath of that. That's what's lighting up this floor. But yeah. Um, so this this area is totally empty. And I think like the, that's it. That's the end of the, the tour. Um... I would once again just say thank you guys. Um, this season for me, 
has been such a massive inspiration. Um, I did not believe. Uh, it's looking like I'm about to end my life. Let's not do that. Um, this season for me has been amazing. I have challenged myself with the buildings. I've challenged myself with doing a lot of stuff I just don't normally do. I'm just known f for doing terraforming and I think after this season I think I can call myself a builder or or, or something. I still I still I still believe I have a lot of, a lot to learn, definitely a lot to learn, but I am learning and this has been such an ama amazing like experience. Oh, I can fly now. Um so let's just take a, a view. And yeah, it's just been such an amazing like project and I've learned so much and learned that I could do so much more. And that's what it's all about, to explore the creative aspect of of your mind and how to do stuff and and everything. But as I glide over to Sufla's living form, I would like, with the sunrise in my back, to just say thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, and bye bye.